I mean, the first question I would have is if you could clarify what you mean by how these structures frame events and how um, they also become, or, or, the, or the structure events as well, right? Again? Okay. I mean, you, you said, um, you, you spoke about how structure, <coughs> uh, how, how these structures you looked at, right? yeah. like, like Uber and so on, frame events, but also how they become events in themselves, right? Yeah, because, for example, um, if I take one uh, on the peripheries of Cairo, the growth of the construction of the built environment was happening from two parts, from the formal and informal. And if you start to look at what was happening, especially in, in the informal, it's not only the built object that I'm referring to, which I'm, I think this is the center of my talk, that mm -hmm. if you try to monitor or, or trace the amount of constructions that's happening certain and the intensity of what's happening, it doesn't tell you only about the building. It tells you about the amount of activities that are happening under that, from economies, from transport, <coughs> from you know all these networks and infrastructure that embedded within this new built uh, areas or you know uh, zones. I mean, just curious. What, I mean, what other structures can you imagine? Because I think Google Earth, in that sense, or Google Maps, is fairly conventional, right? In that sense, because I mean, it's still a representation of the map, right? I mean, it's a kind of representation of, of these buildings versus, right, the infrastructure around it. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in that new thing that Google is doing, like releasing, you know, until 2007, then you get to see what was happening in, in, in terms of development in certain areas. Mm -hmm. And you start to see where the shifts went and where the forces went from one point to the other. So tracing back can help you in the future. I'm just arguing that this could be not only like they what they're claiming, they said, okay, we are releasing, you know, until 2007. I say, hey, okay, can this also help us to assemble or a form of assembly what could be the future? I'm just, this is my question of today, like, since you have this kind of, you know, <coughs> new thing that you have a time frame that can tell you where shifts happen from the one to the other. And, and then try to analyze the data that will be released and try to understand what's happening. From. Like, where is the heat coming from? Which parts of the world? And what does it reflect? Mm. I mean, okay, perhaps a slightly different question. Yeah. Right? And I know you haven't really spoken about this. Right? But how would you think that could be uh, instrumentalized in your own practice and your own research? Well, this is why I started by saying I was struggling about what I'm going to talk about today because since 2011, yes, I've been going out of Cairo. I'm based in Cairo. Uh, I started my practice 2005. And I've been gaining ground. Like 2011, we got a project in Switzerland, a master plan, and then London, Delfina 2012. And now we have a project in New York. So, yes, I'm trying to do that kind of you know, getting out, but it's like I thought this, if I'm going to explain this today, it could be a boring subject somehow, because whatever I'm struggling with, everybody is, you know, I don't have these insights about telling, you know, kind of um, the feedback. So I thought I, I want to look at geography, maps, <coughs> and overall situation from far, rather than like getting into my own practice. So. Mm. But I, mean, I guess that is still kind of this question you're raising. I mean, the agency of this kind of you know visualization and modeling. Kind of what is interesting for me, like why did I brought this up? It's not only because I saw the Google News, but because um, I was reflecting a lot about what happened in Cairo and is it um, is the 25th of Jan like if I want to you know, borrow from Harvey, like modernity as a break, and think is 25th of Jan is a break from the past? Is it a tabula rasa? Or it was happening underground for the past 30 to 50 years. And it's only a point of a destructive moment in time where things were moving way, you know, uh, before that point and will move also beyond it. 
And, and this is why I was thought, okay, that would be interesting, this Google thing, because it might also tell us about where we're heading with, uh, and how the power shifts within an urban form. Like, I think uh, the building or the, the built environment reflects this power shift. Not only in Egypt, even on the global sphere, you have now that the global south is taking more grounds from the north, a bit in areas where they're underdeveloped, they're now industrialized, and now moving from the... the, the okay. Uh, I, I, think, I think that's all. Okay. Okay, thank you very much.